Hello, everyone. Happy Sunday. It's really nice to see you all. I hope you're enjoying a little bit of time off before starting summer school. Um, I don't think I've met any of you before, so I want to introduce myself. My name is Mr. Frost, and um, I am a graduate of Washington State University with both my bachelor's in history and then my master's in teaching. This is actually my first year teaching at Issaquah High School, so um, you are sort of my second group of students after my group of students this beginning year. Um, what I want to do today is walk you through what this week's going to look like, but also show you how to navigate the Canvas site so that if it's your first time, which many of you might might be is we're just moving over to it so you get to be the early guinea pigs on the uh, the new system but hopefully if I walk you through this it's pretty straightforward and then we'll talk a little bit more about what this week's gonna look like so uh, first I want to pull you to the weekly plan that I will send an email to you um, so on this plan you'll see um, there's my name there uh, my email so if you want to contact me email is gonna be the best way since we're only gonna be in person once a week we also have the title of your course, Northwest Studies here, and then my YouTube channel. So on my YouTube channels where I'll put lessons that I make, um, I may end up putting those on Canvas directly, but for now, that's the easiest way that I know to do it. So um, if there is a video for you to watch, I'll make sure I put it in the plan. So as you can see here, we have July 6th through July 10th, and each day it has a module, and I'll show you what that means in just a second. The assignment, and for all summer school, um, assignments are due 11.59 p.m. the day it was assigned. So you have from that morning, it'll go on, it'll go live at uh, midnight, and then you'll have all the way until 11.59 to complete it. And then, of course, office hours are going to be via email or in person. The really best time to do office hours is going to be that in-person time. We've got a really big chunk of time there, and I'm not going to need all of it for um, whatever assignment or activity we're doing or uh, assessment. Um, so if you really do need some help or if you're stuck on something, those in-person days are going to be the best days to bring your questions. And I think I'll actually start each in-person class by asking, does anyone have any questions? And we'll kind of crowdsource them there and then work from there. So let's go uh, day by day and just walk through this schedule and then we'll switch over to Canvas. So as you can see well, at the top where it says module, that will directly correlate in um, Canvas to exactly which module I want you to do. Okay. And then under assignments, there's a couple different words. So read is something that I want you to read, either a document or an assignment sheet or something like that. Do is um, something, an actual activity assignment that you're going to turn in for credit. And then some days we'll have multiple reads, multiple do's. However, I've put them in order for you. So um, the order that you see on the paper is the order that you should do them in. So it's directly correlated to each thing. So just kind of go one by one. And you can see that repeats for the next couple of days. Now what's going to be different is as you look at Thursday and Friday, since some of you are going to come in person, those of you that are not in person are going to be doing a different activity. But ultimately, you'll both be doing the same thing at some point. So let's say your in-person day is Thursday, okay? You're not going to do this. Excuse me. Let's see. Keeps getting that in-person. So you're not going to do this top part, essentially. So you're not going to do this on Thursday. If you're an in-person Thursday person, you're not going to do the activity that's on the weekly schedule for Thursday. Instead, you're going to do this part that says in-person, okay? So you can see on Thursday, there's a reading, there's an interaction, there's an assignment sheet. But then where it says in person, so if you are coming in person on Thursday, you're going to do a short essay test. So the in-person days will be what I'll use to do tests or assessments like that. And I want to forewarn you now and say that when I say short essay, I'm not really focused on the citation style and all these other things that your English teachers may have assigned to you in the past. What I'm really focusing on is the content and your use of skills. Okay. So throughout this week, you'll be working on claims and evidence and anal analysis excuse me, analysis, what I want you to do is to use those in a new situation, okay? So this is something that you'll use the material that we've learned to apply. And I'll explain that more the in-person day too. But the key here is if you're coming in person on Thursday, do this in-person work. If you're coming in person on Friday, do this in-person work, okay? Don't do the regular work. And so hopefully that makes sense. If you have questions about that, just let me know. So that's what the weekly schedule looks like. That's all you really need to expect. Now let me show you um, Canvas. So here we have Canvas, okay? 
And let me go back home to student view really quick. So I'm going to click student view. So this is what your computer will look like. Okay. So you're going to come to the home page and you'll see it says social studies. There's some information here. Now I know this part about some people take it in grade seven or eight. Some people are taking it for different reasons. So just ignore that. But overall, it talks about what we're going to look at. Okay. Um, and then here it says that if you're using a mobile device, you need to look at this guide. Okay. So the front page is really simple. What you'll also notice on the home page on the right over here is you can view the course calendar. And the course calendar shows you which assignments are there. So if you're someone who kind of likes to look ahead, you can go ahead and you can look ahead that way. Okay. So let's go back to home. Excuse me. Let's go back here. Courses. I'm going to go back home. Okay, so you can always find your courses here. It's going to take you to this home page again. You can see the assignments down here. But the focus of this course, the way I'm organizing it, is for you to be able to use the modules. Okay. So each module is connected to a day, and that's what I've put here at the top. So which day you need to do that module. The modules are also built so that you do the work in order. Okay, so for example, let's go to day one. The first thing that you see, and this is also on that weekly schedule, says Treaty of Point Elliot. So you're going to click this treaty, and you'll see you don't even have to leave Canvas. It opens up inside of here. Now, if you're someone who wants to leave Canvas, if you want to scroll more or however you may, this little arrow here will take you to that. So you just click this link, and it'll show you it on the other side. The first thing you're going to do is read this treaty. Now, this treaty has... Um, it has 14 sections. You don't need to read all these names. That just makes it longer, unless you're curious. But the first thing you're going to do is read this treaty, okay? And the nice thing about the modules is you don't need to go back. You see this little next box. You just click next, and it takes you to the next thing that you have to do. And you can see that this is an assignment, but the assignment's locked right now because I don't want it to start until tomorrow. But once tomorrow starts, you will be able to come in here. You'll be able to do this assignment. And it directly connects to that um, treaty. Okay. And the next thing is maps. So again, if you want to leave, you can click this. But you can also look at it in here. So I want you to look at these maps and look really close to them. Um, zoom in if you need to, and and really think about what the map is showing you, what it's telling you. I'm going to provide a little lesson on looking at maps a little bit later. And then we also have um, an assignment that you'll be doing that's connected to maps as well. Okay, so think about that. Um, also, once this is midnight hits, all of these things will be available. But they're locked for now because I don't want you to get ahead. So as you see, modules here, okay? Um, so each of these is going to correlate with the day. Now, what I might do is um, for these ones is just open them throughout the week. So if you're someone who wants to go ahead, that's fine. However, know that these um, are actually correlated with attendance. So ignore that. You have to do them the day of, and you'll just get them in at midnight. So then I know um, that's how we're counting attendance in the summer. But you can see each day has something. So at midnight, it goes live. At the end of the day, um, it will be do so you'll have until 11 59 p.m to do it but the difference that you can see is like this is a attachment okay this is an assignment it tells you when it's due and how many points it is so all you're going to do throughout this summer is just work through these modules i'm going to build these modules for you and i'll build them in order so that you know how to access this material okay something else to look at is the syllabus so it's right here detached so you'll click that and that will give you some more information about the class where we're located we did have a, a room change so you can see it in the syllabus as well um, so all of that will be um, within this document right here and it also shows you like a big picture view of what's going to be due okay if you click assignments you can see the same thing it just gives you a nice big picture view of when it's due how many points it is Discussions, so there will be some discussion boards that we'll do, um, but again, they won't be available until the day of. So like this one will become due, available tomorrow, and you can look back through your discussions. There is a requirement that you um, comment on other people's discussions. So let's say you go to your module, you do the discussion, then you leave. Well, you would come here to assignments, and then that's how our discussions, and that is how you'd be able to access it again later. 
Okay. And then finally we have grades. So this is where you'll see all of your grades that I'll put in for each thing. And these are connected to Skyward, so it will go in there as well. Okay. But overall, it's really uh, my goal is to make this as simple and straightforward as possible. I don't want you to have to go to a bunch of different links. Everything is housed right here in Canvas. So one of the first things you should do when you get an email from me every Sunday is look at the weekly plan, get an idea of what's going on, and then email me if you have any questions. Okay. The next thing to do is to click modules and the modules will show you exactly what you have to do each day. So every day when you wake up, just go see what's the module for that day and interact with that, okay? So that is the kind of quick crash course intro to getting through this. I know we have 20 days to cover a class that's normally a semester long. Um, so we're going to be really tight. The emphasis are going to be really focused. However, I still think you're going to get a great um, engagement with the Northwest studies and the different things that make the history of this state so interesting. So please um, reach out to me if you have any questions after viewing this video and the materials. And I look forward to meeting you all soon.